Imagine a world drenched in a monochrome haze, where shadows danced upon towering skyscrapers, and the city's heartbeat echoed in the relentless patter of raindrops against cobblestone streets. In the midst of this chiaroscuro realm, a flickering television screen brought to life a caped crusader and his loyal companion, igniting a timeless adventure that would resonate across generations. It was a time when the concept of a superhero gracing the small screen was a novelty, a daring leap into uncharted territory. The year was 1966, and television sets tuned in with bated breath to witness the emergence of the iconic TV series, Batman. With its catchy theme song that carved its melody into minds like an indelible signature, the show's vividly kitschy aesthetic and tongue-in-cheek tone beckoned viewers to immerse themselves in a Gotham, unlike any they'd ever encountered. Whether you stumbled upon the dynamic duo's escapades during your formative years, or perhaps ventured into the Batcave during a nostalgic binge, there's something undeniably enchanting about those first moments of witnessing Batman and Robin grappling with cunning villains and improbable scenarios. Who could forget the exaggerated fight sequences punctuated by onomatopoeic bursts, pow, bam, zap, a visual symphony that defied gravity and, at times, all semblance of physics. And oh, those robes galleries of villains, the Joker's manic cackle, Catwoman's beguiling purr, and the Riddler's enigmatic riddles that left viewers both intrigued and bewildered. The show's allure lay not just in its heroic antics, but in the carnival of characters that populated its universe, each larger than life and vying for a slice of the spotlight. Now, let's peel back the layers of nostalgia and explore some lesser-known facets of this beloved show. Did you know that Adam West, the charismatic embodiment of Batman, once described his portrayal as fairy tale life with comic strip situations? Or that Burt Ward, who brought Robin to life, perfected his holy insert exclamation here? Catchphrase to a comedic art form. These curious details and more await, offering fresh perspectives on a classic that has transcended time itself. So, as we prepare to dive into the Batcave of trivia and anecdotes, take a moment to rekindle your own memories of your first encounter with the 1966 TV series Batman. What scenes linger in the corridors of your mind? What emotions stir as you recall the bygone days of dynamic duos and dastardly villains? Let's embark on this journey together, shining a bat signal on the hidden gems that make this show an indelible part of pop culture history. Unveiling the unseen stories of the 1966 TV series Batman and a revealing 1989 interview, Adam West, the iconic caped crusader of the 1966 TV series Batman, unveiled a tantalizing tale of his own making. West disclosed that he had meticulously crafted a script for a Batman movie that never saw the flickering light of the silver screen. The plot, a retirement far removed from the bustling streets of Gotham City, as Bruce Wayne vanquishes all crime and bids farewell to his vigilante alter ego. Picture this, a ranch in the sun-soaked landscapes of New Mexico, the Dark Knight trading his cowl for cowboy hats. While the idea had all the elements of a cinematic triumph, Warner Bros, alas, declined to pick up West's brainchild, relegating it to the annals of unrealized dreams. Among the indelible images etched in the minds of Batman aficionados is the iconic shot of Commissioner Gordon's office, framed by the towering steps leading to its doorstep. Every opening sequence of the show gave audiences a glimpse of this classic setting. Yet, little did viewers know that the very same steps, a part of the Warner Brothers lot, have weathered the test of time. A triangular edifice, affixed to a soundstage, is the backdrop that housed Commissioner Gordon's domain. Remarkably, this building also served as the keeper of cinematic history, safeguarding every wardrobe that graced the formidable presence of Clint Eastwood in his myriad films. A convergence of two-storied worlds, hidden in plain sight. Meanwhile, the Batmobile's dynamic exit from the Batcave was nothing short of legendary. Behind this cinematic feat lay a meticulous orchestration of movie-making ingenuity. Filmed at the Bronson Cavern nestled in the Hollywood Hills, the Batmobile's narrow escape presented an unexpected challenge. The Batmobile's girth nearly matched that of the cave entrance, risking a costly fender fiasco. The solution, an artful camera trick. By undercranking the camera, the Batmobile could glide out in slow motion splendor, only to be accelerated in post-production. The result, a seamless exit that encapsulated the essence of the Caped Crusader's swift departure. In the grand tapestry of the 1966 TV series Batman, 
These hidden gems shine as testaments to the creative genius and technical innovation that forged its enduring legacy. Adam West's unrealized script, the Commissioner's steps of perpetual prominence, and the Batmobile's calculated escape all whisper stories of Hollywood magic, both in front of the camera and behind the scenes. As we revisit the campy charm and crime-fighting zeal of the dynamic duo, let us not forget the untold tales that embellish the legend of Gotham's champions. Electric Shakespeare, the secret signal of the bat poles within the iconic 1966 TV series Batman. A subtle yet ingenious detail remained hidden in plain sight. The Shakespeare bust, revered for concealing the Batcave's entrance, possessed a clandestine function beyond its literary facade. Though its electric switch couldn't budge the bookcase, it illuminated a light behind the set. This signal discreetly notified the crew to activate the slide, unveiling the coveted bat poles. Ingeniously woven into the very fabric of the Batcave, this concealed switch showcased the show's behind-the-scenes choreography. While Adam West's portrayal of Batman and Burt Ward's Robin stand firm in pop culture history, another dynamic duo lingered in the wings. Lyle Wagoner and Peter R.J. Dale underwent a parallel screen test for the iconic roles, standing as an alternative possibility to the familiar Cape Crusaders. However, fate tipped its hat to West and Ward, cementing their place in the Bat Pantheon. Interestingly, Wagoner would later grace the screen as a different DC character, essaying the role of Steve Trevor in the live-action adaptation of Wonder Woman. In the carnival of laughter that is Cesar Romero's Joker, serendipity played its role. Romero's signature maniacal laugh, an auditory embodiment of the clown prince of crime, emerged quite unexpectedly. Upon encountering conceptual art of Joker's flamboyant attire, Romero burst into a spirited, almost manic laughter. Little did he know, this impromptu outburst would become the definitive Joker's laugh, immortalizing his portrayal. As the Shakespeare bust illuminated hidden paths and laughter echoed through Gotham's shadows, the 1966 Batman series entwined playful innovation and serendipity. Emblematic of its time, the show continues to hold its cape-clad place in the annals of television history. Adam West's Cape Crusader, Batman, took the 1966 television scene by storm with its campy charm and colorful villains. Amid the Pal Bam action and iconic Batmobile, a shadow of controversy loomed. The allegations of homoerotic undertones, tracing back to Dr. Frederick Wortham's 1953 book that accused comic books of fostering immorality, singling out Batman and Robin as symbols of homosexuality. Adam West, the embodiment of the Dark Knight, staunchly opposed these claims, vehemently denying any such intentions from the show's creators. Yet, beyond the veil of controversy, the show shared more than just laughter. Many of the props that adorned the Batcave in Gotham's rooftops found their way into other beloved series of the era, Lost in Space, The Time Tunnel, Land of the Giants, and Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea. A testament to the resourceful spirit of the production, these shared items became threads connecting the vibrant tapestry of 60 Seconds Television. Amidst the rogues gallery, one laugh stood out, the maniacal high-pitched cackle of Frank Gorshin's Riddler. This laughter, as if torn from the pages of criminal psychology, found its muse in the character Tommy Udo from Kiss of Death. Gorshin's Riddler was a symphony of inspiration, a nod to the past echoing through Gotham's alleys. The bat signal illuminated more than just the night sky. It shone a light on a cultural phenomenon that danced between controversy and creativity. As Gotham's protector grappled with villains and rumors alike, the 66 Batman series proved itself a time capsule of an era defined by both its quirks and its innovation. Engaging the minds of viewers, echoing through television history, the show's legacy endures, a blend of nostalgia, whimsy, and cape crusading that transcends time. And so, the laughter, the Batmobile's roar, and the colorful escapades remain etched in the annals of pop culture, a testament to an age when television painted the world in bold, vibrant strokes. Adam West's Bond connection and the unlikely inspiration for Batman's foes Adam West, the charismatic actor behind the iconic 1966 TV series Batman, could have been a double agent of a different sort. In a surprising revelation, West disclosed that the show's immense popularity led to a remarkable offer, the role of James Bond in On Her Majesty's Secret Service. However, West, an American, declined the offer, reasoning that the British spy should be portrayed by a fellow countryman. This twist of fate directed the role towards Australian actor George Lazenby, 
Curiously, the tale of espionage doesn't end there. Elements of Lazenby's Bond narrative found their way into Gotham's rogues gallery. The complex relationship between Bond and a crime lord's daughter laid the foundation for the enigmatic Ra's al Ghul and his daughter Talia, a fortuitous alignment of themes that resonated across franchises. Christopher Nolan, renowned director of the Dark Knight trilogy, also found inspiration in Lazenby's Bond escapade. Surprisingly, Nolan confessed that On Her Majesty's Secret Service stands as his favorite Bond film, highlighting the intricate threads that link disparate narratives in the world of entertainment. As the bat signal fades, the cinematic cosmos remains forever entwined, revealing the intricate tapestry spun by chance and inspiration. It's a narrative worthy of Gotham's most enigmatic minds, scripted not by fate alone, but by the hand of creativity reaching across genres and generations. As the curtains draw to a close on our journey through the iconic 1966 TV series Batman, it's like stepping out of the Batcave and into the bustling streets of Gotham one last time. The colorful whirlwind of Adam West's Batman and Burt Ward's Robin, accompanied by their campy charm, has left an indelible mark on the world of television and pop culture. But beyond the flashy costumes and clever quips, there lies a personal connection that each of us has forged with the caped crusader and his youthful ward. As the bat signal fades from the night sky, take a moment to reflect on your own unique journey with Batman 66. Perhaps it was the first time you tuned in, captivated by the wacky villains and zany antics. Or maybe it was the imaginative sound effects and larger-than-life gadgets that sparked your fascination. Regardless of the memory that stands out, this series has been a Batmobile ride through time, connecting generations with its timeless appeal. Now, the Batcave's vault of memories opens up to you. Share your thoughts, your fondest recollections, and the moments that made you grin like the Joker. Let's celebrate the legacy of Batman 66 together, as enthusiasts and fans unite to honor a show that shaped not just television, but our very perceptions of heroism and humor. With the Bat spirit alive and well within us, we extend our gratitude for joining us on this retrospective adventure. Your time and interest have made this exploration truly exhilarating. So, keep those memories close, and let the bat-winged muse of nostalgia carry you back to those classic Gotham nights. Until we meet again beneath the Gotham moon, keep your utility belts polished, and your bat cave of memories well tended. Stay heroic, stay whimsical, and above all, stay connected to the bat beat that forever echoes through our hearts.